Okay, so when I was trying to think of what topic to do, I came to decide to do CAE because I have dairy goats, so this was something that was a problem in the industry and I had to learn about anyway. So. Okay, now before we go on, do you have any little goats you could bring to class? Or are these <laughs> um, too far away? My goats are probably definitely over 100 pounds now, okay. so they would be. They would still want to be your lap friends, oh, I know. but they're not lap size. You don't have any babies? No, not yet. Okay. Okay, so CIE is capron arthritis and encephalitis. And this affects goats. Um, it's a single-stranded RNA lentivirus, so it has a very slow incubation like the FIV. Um, but it is spread through colostrum and milk. So as soon as the baby is nursed from a CAE positive dough, they are automatically infected. Um, it's widespread in dairy goats uh, because of management practice and um, just dairy goat people will uh, store colostrum and milk and such to use for other goats, so it helps that spread rapidly. Um, it's still possible in meat and fiber breeds of goats, it's just not as common. And there is not a vaccine for this. Um, so there are several ways that transmission can occur for CAE. The most common is through colostrum and milk. So like I said, if you have a CAE positive dough, um, even if the baby is, does not already have CAE, as soon as it nurses, it is automatically infected. You can also get it from direct contact. Um, a goat that's infected, if it shares a feed bunk and they're all in the same area, then they can get that as well. Um, contaminated milking parlors, again, with the milk contamination between goats. And then you can also spread it through contaminated needles. So if you give multiple vaccinations to multiple animals and don't change up between, and one of them's infected, good job, you've infected your herd. <laughs> um, so symptoms of CAE, it's an interesting disease because about 80% of the cases are asymptomatic, so you may not even know that your herd has it. Um, of the 20% that the clinical signs you get, um, arthritis is the big one because it's the A and the CAE, um, they will get a lot of swelling and lesions um, in their knee and joint capsules. Um, they will also get lameness because of that. There's also an overall loss of conditioning, um, they'll lose weight because they're in pain, they're not feeling well. Poor hair coat goes along with that. Um, they can also get chronic interstitial pneumonia, mastitis, and head pressing is another symptom that's up here, and that's a symptom of the encephalitis. And if you can see here, the joints that are swollen from that, that's not normal. Okay, so there are ways to prevent this. Since there is not a vaccine, and prevention is very important. Um, you can actually test for CAE, it's an ELISA test. Um, so you just send in a blood sample and then they will test to see if your goats have antibodies against the CAE virus. And if you know that they have a positive, then you know not to <coughs> continue to pass on that disease to other goats. Um, if you have a CAE positive doe and she's like a really good doe, you don't want to get rid of her, um, it's really important that when she kids, you take the baby and you bottle feed and don't let it nurse from her because then you will give the baby that as well. It's also important to purchase from a reputable breeder. Um, when I bought my two does, um, the breeder stressed that they were a CAE negative herd, which is another good thing. CAE or other diseases, it's always good to make sure your breeder is being honest with you and they're not selling you a bad animal. If it is possible and you're not emotionally attached to your goats, if they are CAE positive, it's good to practice culling in your herd so you can become a CAE negative herd. And also it's good to keep the animals that are infected separate so that you don't spread that. And does anyone have any questions? <laughs> Those, I wish you could bring in some baby goats. That was fun. I had one time somebody brought in four baby goats. It was actually the room back there. It was so fun. They were so cute. I think you got a question way in the back. Okay. Do you know how long, like it lives in the environment, like how long do you lose your barn? Once you have it in your barn, how long do you have to that's actually a really good question. Of the papers I've read, I didn't see anything about environmental, how long it lives. Um, I would imagine that... The question was about how long the virus lives in the environment. In the environment, between animal contact. It's really hard to get rid of. Okay. I don't, and I didn't, I didn't know the exact time period, that's what I was asking. Yeah, I, I wish I had the answer, but I didn't see that either. Yeah. Um, that'd be a good thing for me to look up, though, because that's a really good question. Okay, where are these goats living right now? I mean, I'm trying to figure out where you are and where you sell your goats when you have to cull. Um, my goats are at my home home in Spencer. So okay. um, So where you sell goats? Because I mean, there's not every place where you sell goats. Correct. Um, so for, there are actually multiple ways that you can sell goats. Um, usually like... But if they're, they're CAE positive. If they're CAE positive, 
And you can point blank say they're CAA positive, but they're usually coal animals that go to an auction to be um, consumed. Yeah, okay. So. I just have a question about yeah. How many times a day do you go? Um, oh, that's a good question. Yeah. People that I know who have Nubian go to the kind I have, uh, they milk twice a day. It also depends on if you're keeping the kid on the goat. Because some people will keep the, the kids on the goats and just uh, milk it admittedly, but some people do it straight just for the milk production. And how many pounds a day is that? It, it varies per goat. It varies per goat. It varies, it varies a lot. Because when I was trying to look at like the different breeds to get, there is a huge variation in like butter fat content, yield. Um, okay, so you're selling kind of goat milk. I am not yet. I'm just starting into it. I oh, have okay. two does that are going to be getting oh, okay. bred um, okay. late October. Okay. And then next spring I'll have babies. But And then you'll be selling goat milk? Hopefully. 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 Or at least experimenting with some fun recipes. I've heard goat milk ice cream is delicious. Oh, I see. Is the eating killed with pasteurization? Um, okay, yeah, repeat the question for people who may not have heard it. Is the um, killed with pasteurization? Can you milk, pasteurize, and then feed the babies? One of the sites I said, if you do heat it up, then yes, that's fine. Um, but the thing with colostrum is if you heat it up too much, then the proteins are denatured with the antibodies. Because um, I know a lot of farms practice that. So. Yeah. Um, yes, you can. If it's heated up, then that should do it. But a lot of people just practice the better safe than sorry. If you know it's CAE positive, then just steer clear. But. Okay, other questions? <laughs> We've got the dog subdued. <laughs> okay, well, let's see. Let me shut.